A rain bomb. Oh, fuck. Yo. Yeah, fuck it. You got rained on, I but got rained on. now I dried, you though. are I dried before dry. we started. So. You did. Episode 60, something from everyone. I'm here with Jason Grandel for your third appearance, I didn't Jay. know we started. That uh, was going to be my first That was gonna be my first question because I couldn't remember if I did yes. two or three. Yep, it's so been this two. Is three. I checked. It was episode one and then episode 29, and this is episode 60. So it's basically yeah, every 30 one. episodes. You were. Damn. I think you were also one of the yeah. like first version of this. So you're like, yeah, whenever, whenever I need a regular, I'm calling you. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been sick. Jay, you're playing guitar in Half-Hearted. You're helping write songs in Half-Hearted. You're also doing music marketing and making people cool. I try. People get streams and views and help their music reach more folks. Um, I guess the important business part of this for me uh, is quick. My quick plug is that I am booking music videos. It's been a busy year, and I'd like to add more people to my busy year. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, for you guys, I know the new EP just came out. So it's Healing from Hating Yourself. Uh, new EP just came out. How's that process been? It's good. All's been good. We spent we spent all last year on it. Yes. Like I didn't realize how like what I, when I was looking at, it, I was like, oh, the voodoo's on this. I didn't realize it was a like, year old. Yeah, voodoo yeah. feels so long ago. <laughs> it was like, oh, it finally, like, finally came out. Literally forever ago. <laughs> yes. And we like re- like enough time passed to where we had like all the songs we put out early last year. We just like remixed. Yep. Because we finished the two new songs on the EP. We mix those and figured out just like a bunch of shit that mm-hmm. works now for us. And like kind of just stuff we were trying to figure out all along. And we were like, damn, dude, like these two sound real good. Yep. And we didn't think that the difference would be like that big of a deal, if that makes sense. But then once those two were finished and we went back, or no, three, I take it back. Once the last three were finished, we went back and listened to the first three, like, cause kind of we did like the track listing and mm-hmm. put them all in order. And we didn't think there would be like, like bands will, you know, they'll do albums and they'll have, you know, this song has a different snare drum or this song, you know, was recorded at this time, but then they, you know, I don't know. They did, they did shit to make it all cohesive. And when we listened back just to see if we could get away with just like using the old versions, it was so like drastically different. Yeah. So we were kind of, we were kind of just sat down and we were like, damn, dude, we really have to remix all of these, don't we? How much work was it to remix it? Like, was it None a- for me? I mean, no, I'd take that back. I'd take that back. <laughs> as a, as a More unit, for Sean, but, but was this like an afternoon? Was this a week project, a month long project? How long does remixing it, it take? It took way too, I mean, this one in particular took way too long. Okay. I, we just went crazy on it for some reason. Like, I I don't know. It, it, was, like, it was like two months, honestly. Because yeah, okay. like, we finished, I'm trying to think of when. We put out, I think we put out the last single before the EP in like November. And so, hell up, yeah, dude? you can hear Jack in the background of the yeah. headphones. That's sick. Yeah, what's up? Shout out the Kings here. He just wants love. Shout out Jack. Um, he might make it on the camera if he decides to be acrobatic. Oh, there he is. He's there. <laughs> Barely. He's lurking. Hello. I love you. It's great that he goes to you. Normally he comes to me and it makes me feel very good as a proud father, but I like to see him exploring, shy. going he to make new friends people. in the world. Makes new um, friends. It's the best. I'm so grateful to have a cat that is not scared in a closet. But <laughs> that's a different conversation for what a different What was I just day. saying? I don't um, The songs took forever to remix. Oh, and yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I think, the, yeah, I think we put that song Love Mistakes out and it was either October or November, maybe. So that one was done. But then, then after that one, we went and did the other ones. And so I think we spent all of November and December because that's actually weirder for me to remix an old song than it is to just mix a new song because yeah. you have something yep. that's there. And now you're like, okay, we have to make sure that this is now better, but mm-hmm. also sounds, it has to first, first and foremost has to sound like the three songs that are new, yep. but it also has to not get worse than, cause I like those old mixes. Like they're still good mm-hmm. in my opinion. They're just different. Yep. So we were like, all right, how do we make all all these levels and all these little like ear things, like certain little things that pop out to you? How do we make this all the same, but then have everything also drastically different at the same time? Mm-hmm. And so, like, I don't, I would like to know the exact number of how many times we like bounced those songs <laughs> over those two months. Yeah, it, like was every day there was like a new thing. My and it was so just it was like overwhelming. You mentioned how it's easier to like mix a new song than to remix an old song for you. Mm-hmm. And my version of this is like with video stuff. I've been doing a lot of yeah the college shows lately and a lot of the big college concerts and campuses and a lot of the big spring shows. Like I filmed the show last year and so we're using last year's footage for this year's promo. So mm-hmm. I've been making a lot of like commercials and advertisements and yeah promo videos for them. 
And it's so hard to like go back and use the footage that I've already used and already made what I think is the best possible thing you can make from this footage. Yeah, and I make it different. And now you have to go back and make it different, and you have to make sure that it like, like uh, I'm thinking of like a Yukon video I was just doing. It's like you, if you want a shot of the crowd, it's like I already used the best shot last year. So if I need a new thing, it's like well, if I want the wide shot of the crowd that every concert video needs, like I already used the best five of them. So do I reuse one of them, or how do I like make yeah. it new, or do I go to number six just, on the list and like it. something? Just flip yeah, it around. there's a bunch of different things you could do. Yeah, yeah. To try and make it feel new or make it feel different, yeah. or just yeah, use a slightly different part of it. Whatever. There's a bunch of tricks, but it's yeah that same problem of like once you've like made something of it, it's so tough to go back and like revisit that shit and mm -hmm. like make it new again. Uh, is there a song that stands out as a favorite on the EP too? Is there one like yeah, if you were handing the EP to someone, if we still had physical media, if physical media still existed and you're handing someone I an wish, EP, that'd be sick. would you be like, yo, start at song three? Like, where would where you tell people to start? Where's the where's the place uh, to go? I, I like the first song, like, a lot. Okay. It's, it's the most different song, I think. Okay. Well, I mean, different for, for our band is not is really... talking to Talking myself? to myself, yeah. This is one of, like, the... What's like, that it's sound? It's really the... slow. Oh, it's got, it's like the uh the the little kid fucking whatever. What is that What's thing it called? called? Noise box? Okay. I don't know if it's called Music that. Box? Music box? Music box, I think box. it's called. Yes. The ding, okay. ding, 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 whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Like, that song we've had since... I don't even know, dude. Like pandemic, like 2020, Damn, okay. maybe 2021. So we were sitting on it for a couple of years, and it was totally different. It was like when we were making pop songs and it shit. Kind of fixed it with the gossip, so, as you say. It. And yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. when we had that, it was just kind of sitting around doing whatever. And then we decided to start making like, you know, making a little bit heavier stuff again. And all those songs kind of got scrapped. Yep. And then Sean one day, it was like winter it was probably i think it was winter 20 like 2022 so like maybe january february he was like yo we should like redo this song like completely though like we'll keep some of the vocals mm -hmm. and i don't think i kept any like of the guitars i don't even remember how that song sounded a few years ago <laughs> like i have no idea okay he was like i have this idea we'll do this music box and then we'll add like heavy guitars and that actually was like technically even before like voodoo and like all the all the songs that came out first that was technically the first one we did where we said oh damn like we could do these like we came up with this like sick like low octave guitar tone and it like sounded really cool and we like wrote all these cool parts and i was like damn we should write a bunch of songs like this so then we wrote the rest after that um but that was actually kind of the first one and it was like the last one to come out which is funny but um, uh, it seems to work a lot of times but like i even had like i showed that song I think it was the new version, but I showed that song to a, like just a couple people, just a couple friends, and they would hit me up whenever we would put out a new song, and they'd be like, "Yo, is this that one?" Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, "No." <laughs> and so then it finally like those 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 like few people I showed hit me up, and they're like, "Yo, it's finally out!" Like, <laughs> it's time. yes, I've been waiting. Like, I sent it to to them too, but Hell yeah. like, I'm not gonna make them wait. <laughs> but that's no good friend would. No, so that's the one. Talking to myself is the one that stands out to you. That's I don't think it's the. I mean, it stands out just because it's different, and I re I really do like. It. I think it's I think it's a good song. Mm -hmm. um, there's different songs for different things, like the fog in that song. Like from the from the first song to the last song, those are two totally different vibes. That song's way heavier. That song's got like crazy breakdowns and mm -hmm. shit. And like same with like voodoo. And then you have. Uh, Buried Alive too. That one's a heavy one. But then you got the two rock songs kind of in the middle too. And then this first song is weird and slow. <laughs> and but then the end is really cool and Sean's singing really high again. And it's like I don't know. There's just a lot going on. It's like everything in one song. Hell yes, that's a great great little promo right there. It feels like a little WWE link promo you okay. just got on to sell the EP to folks. Hell yeah. uh, I'm going back. We should do another one of those. Uh, what was that green screen shit we did where you had your your ex wife that you were mad at? And the <laughs> it was a bad. That was, <laughs> that was a great. That idea. was so funny. That was so funny at the time. Yeah. But I feel like what was the character's name? Film like what am I? Uh, what are the blanks remember. I'm remembering here? I can't remember his name. Is it still out? Was anywhere? he? Yeah, it's on my Instagram somewhere. So, okay. It's on my personal Instagram if you scroll down <laughs> okay. really, really far. Okay. I just remember the, the wife I made up was Stacy or something. Stacy, that's how But I don't yeah. remember if the guy, like me, had a name. Did he have know. a name? I have no idea. I feel I like know. I feel like you should have if you didn't. Like, talking about yourself in the third person. That's just the that range better. of the things that that the band has Done. I think like there's, there's it's just like every single thing we put out has been different and then also every single thing we've done 
in addition to that has also been different. Like that's the only time we've ever done something like funny. Yep. If that makes sense. Yeah. And I don't I don't know if people liked it. I don't know. I, no I had idea. a bunch of like friends that hit me up and and were basically saying like, "Yo, this is bad funny. I love this." But it's, I don't I never got like random people. Like I thought it I thought that was something that would like get shared and like I don't know, just be a silly thing, and yeah. it just kind of didn't. So I was like, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's for me. It feels like there's a room for that. I don't know. I'm a big fan of like band should be people more, and I think to some degree, obviously, I'm, that's where my that's where this podcast comes from. For me, it's like right, like I understand if I'm just behind the camera, then you don't really ever know me. I don't exist at all. Yeah, uh, and I think as a band, there's a similar thing that happens. So like we get to know the trauma that you talk about in the lyrics, and that's really all we know of the band. We don't really know anyone else in the band. Yeah, what's I going think there's on. W- I think there's good ways to do it, and there's also bad ways to do it. Like, yeah, I. I scroll through Instagram and TikTok every day and see mm-hmm. like 20 bands that mm. I watch whatever they posted and I go I'm never going to listen to this band because this made my skin crawl. Yep. Um and then some I don't know like I really like when bands post like if a band goes on tour and they post like tour videos. Yep. I really like that stuff because that's like truly just like someone's going around with a camera and just filming you doing whatever and it's usually kind of funny and there's usually some fun shit going on. Hmm. And that is how you see people's personalities and it's cool. Yep. But then also I'll go on TikTok and just see like the I don't even know how to describe half the shit. It's yeah. like I don't know, just the worst stuff sometimes or just the worst like concepts or ideas. Yep. Like, oh let's do this like funny thing for the for the song. Some are, some are okay. It just really depends, though. Some <laughs> bands are good at it. Some aren't. And I feel yeah. like if you're good at it, it can it can be really effective. Because if like you make something, especially for like pop people and shit yep. too. Like if you make something really funny for your song, I can't think of a specific example, but he's very vocal about this. But he's interested um, in pop. I can't think of a of a specific example, but I feel like if you do that for like a pop song or something. Yep. It can really enhance, like, if you make something funny and then you drop this song, it's like, oh, cool. Like, I, f- I feel like I know this person now. Yep. And I feel like with a lot of rock bands, when they do it, it just seems like so, like, not genuine. And they're just like, yep. I'm just doing this because I want to be on your fucking For You page yep. and whatever. I feel like I'm always know. talking about things that, like, the rap industry does well and that metal does badly. And to me, this is one of them. Dude, like, rap does... Rap I would, is so good at just being yourself and just putting yeah. up stories and just making stuff. But I feel like also like, rap doesn't give a shit half the time, too, because I feel like people just put people just drop shit in rap, mm-hmm. too. Just be like, oh, I just spent like a year working on this album. Cool. Let's just put it out right now. Yep. Like it has to go out tomorrow. And then they put it out. And like I feel like rap is also a lot more like word of mouthy. Yep. And like like any any rap artist that I've tried to work with just for my own stuff, to be honest, just hasn't gone well. So I don't really do it anymore. I love rap music, but I just, it doesn't work like that for that like crowd. Just like, I feel like people find rappers and just anything in that world, like through their boy or like through a playlist that they like, they find it themselves or like they just start hearing people talk about it. And it's like word of mouth spreads and it spreads really fast in rap too. So like someone can just blow up one month and yeah. boom, you're headlining a fucking festival and yep. like crazy shit like that. And that doesn't really happen in, in our type not of often, world. Yeah. Uh I mean sometimes, but not like I don't know. No, I agree with you. I think it's the same shit. And like uh, I don't know. I think that the the flip side of that though is like you mentioned that rappers put stuff out tomorrow. And I think the opposite of that is the metal band that's like big things coming soon, and then it's been three years and they haven't put out a single song or they put out one single and like nothing happened. Yeah, dude, it's like, like no one cares. That's, that's a plague in our world that I think that the rap game has figured out or like at least seems to have dodged or yeah, not. But, I mean, we even kind of did that with the EP, honestly. Like we, yeah. we did, we spend so much, way, 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 way more time working on it than we should have. Yep. Yes. But then when it was time to put it out, like we had already filmed three music videos for it, for songs that were already out. Mm-hmm. So we were kind of talking and we were thinking, oh, okay, well, we have these two new songs that people haven't heard and the full EP and everything's remixed. Like maybe we do a video for one of these new ones. And then we were just kind of like, this is stupid. Like, what's the point? Like there's already there's already a bunch of videos. I'm just going to hit you up, make something simple for it. And then yep. we lit- we announced it and dropped it in like a week. Yep. And it was fine. And everyone, everyone that would have listened to it if – we spent two months hyping it up and doing all this shit. Still listen to it after a week. Yep. There's no one that like, there's no one that hit me up and, and was like, dude, I had no idea that you guys dropped this. And oh my God, like, whoa, mm-hmm. 
this is so out of nowhere. Like, you know, everyone just heard it and was like, this is sick. Cool. Yep. Uh, side note there, those are like three of like my favorite videos that we've done or that I've done in general. Same. So it was like a real cool collection of yeah. videos on that EP as I was checking it out this morning. It was like, oh, the fuck. La- we, yeah, like the last two, here. like especially, yeah. dude, like uh, those. Because we did those like pretty pretty close, like yeah. back to back. I don't, I think Voodoo's my favorite of the bunch. Somehow, Really? Just, yeah, somehow. I like it. It just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like, I think the uh, other, I like Insatiable a lot. Yeah. That we, won't, different. we won't talk about why, but, <laughs> but I like that one. <laughs> that one's tainted for me, forever tainted. Yeah, it has this bad taste in my mouth that's left behind after it. But life goes on. No, we, we could. Talk, we, we, we won't talk about. Well, we should just say that we should just say that the whole video got edited, and then something happened, and then we had to make you re-edit the entire video. Yeah. And you did because yeah. you're a nice person. Yeah, it and, you, and you realized that this was nobody's fault and something something out of it our was, control happened. The other thing was like <laughs> if it was anyone's fault, it was my fault. It was the other piece of that. Like to be blunt, it's like I picked. It wasn't your fault. I like I made the choice that got us into that scenario. Where if I yeah, or that was the part, I felt some ownership of like yeah, this was this was kind of on me. Of like I we wouldn't have planned this. I don't think I don't like I don't feel guilty about it. It's not that kind of shit. But it was no. like yeah, if if and it came out great. So that, yeah, at the end of the day, that's it all that all matters. Work out. It yeah. worked out. Um, it's like the most different video I think we have, like definitely. overall. Yeah, I like the, all the different shit we've done. Too. Yeah, that's the best. That Those helped. came out sick. I got more messages about the promo than sick. I did the song. <laughs> when sick. I posted, I think I can't remember if I posted it before or after that song. I think it was a little bit before. I think so. Because I think I posted it on my birthday. And so it was half people wishing me like happy birthday, like, yo, hey, dude, like, hope, that hope engagement go well. boost. Also, <laughs> Yo, that picture's hard, dude. Yeah. Like that picture's crazy. You you went crazy on that, and I yep. was like, "Thanks." You went you went crazy on it. I didn't. I Hell just yeah. stood there. But uh, yeah, it's a good I it's a good ass. Tried picture. my best. Uh, it was easy. We already filmed the video, so that was like the last thing we did. So to me, it's already like I already know how this whole space works. Just go back to whatever worked well in the video and put the camera there. and yeah. hope it works as well. Um, what was my little transition there? You mentioned something about the videos. I don't know. I had some little cool transition there. It's and I don't fine. remember what it was. Um, but moving on here. <laughs> um, fuck. I wish I had remembered what it was because a nice little something I wanted to mention about the videos, the processes or something. We were talking about voodoo for a sec. Was it something to do with that? Voodoo. I don't know what the hell it was. And I'm never going to remember. And if I do, then I'll bring us back to this point. It's fine. If I don't, um, then I'll move on to my next, <laughs> my next little <laughs> shit here. Uh, my next question here is, yeah, marketing like for yourself or other people. So I'm wondering, like, now the EP's been out, I assume you've been, yeah, working on marketing for yourself. And, like, that's mm-hmm. what you do for your job. And I think it's an interesting yeah. thing. Like, obviously, Sean's in the similar boat of, like, yeah, what he does for Half Hearted, what he does for you guys is what he does for a living. And I think yeah. it's an interesting challenge to, like, yeah, do it for other people and have to do it for yourself and like hold the standard in the same place where I think when I'm working on a music yeah. video for y'all, like I think I do better because other people are involved where I think if I was the only one doing it, I'd be more inclined to like cut corners and be like, I know this isn't going to matter, so let's do it. But when someone else is in charge, it's like, no, I don't want to cut corners because <clears throat> I know that they're trusting me to do a good yeah. job here. So it's not really corners to cut there. Yeah. Uh, how does marketing yourself different than marketing other bands how do you like how are you able to transition that skill set back into working for yourself sometimes i'm just not (laughs) it's just hard it's hard sometimes it's like i don't know i'll get dude i've been working with like at least like four or five bands a week like Mm -hmm. like it's been crazy busy lately which is great yep and it's like cool i have to figure that out every time Mm -hmm. and like i'll ask the artists a bunch and i'll get their opinion sometimes i agree sometimes i don't or sometimes i'll use some of their like who do you sound like What, what what should i be trying to do here yeah and sometimes, usually it's pretty accurate. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'll get some some <laughs> stuff that's just like, I'm not doing this. Like, because you think that you sound like this person and yeah. you don't. Yep. And and I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just gonna do it, and mm-hmm. and hopefully it works out. And usually yeah. it does. I um, hope they don't go into the little nitty gritty and figure out. Yeah, if like, they like go in and like yeah. most people don't. Yeah. Look at what I'm doing. They're. I mean, most, it's pretty chill for the most part, honestly. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I, like. Yeah, I have. I do have a few bands that like hit me up more than others, and they'll ask ask for things, which is fine. Obviously, you're you're paying you me money, so yeah. that's cool. Yeah. And then others straight up talk to on day one, and then I do my thing, and then mm-hmm. I talk to them a month later, and they're <laughs> like, "Hey, dude, like this was really great. Like, let's do another month." And I'm yep. like, "Okay." And then I don't talk to them for another month, and it's just I just have different. It's different different relationships with different bands. Yeah. Like some. It, some require some more love than others, and that's cool. And then some are some are super easy, and every, everyone's everyone's pretty cool. There's no, there's never really been any like weird shit that's happened or or anything that's like became a problem. Yeah. Where I, 
like maybe like once or twice I've had to like stop working with someone just off of, I don't know, some, it's not even usually things to do with, with me or, or things to do with like the work. It's just like some other shit comes up and yeah. I'm just like, all right, I'm not doing this. This is yep. weird. But I've got uh, the same thing. Uh, I think the other piece there is just like as we, Jack, relax, dude, we're talking. Um, <laughs> as like, as we work with other people, it's also on us to like be able to work with all these different timelines, right? Like I think yeah. as we're talking about, like, as you're saying, like for me, it's the same thing that uh, some people want to an update every day or every week or yeah, as mm-hmm. often as possible. And some people are like, yeah, talk to me when it's done and don't bother me until then. Yeah. And I think it's also a, a challenge for us sometimes to like stay in tune to those timelines of like, yeah, it, sometimes I want feedback halfway through the project and it's like, that's just not what this is yeah. going to be. So it's on us to yeah, be able to work in both those environments. And that can be kind of tricky sometimes. Too. I mean, I'll, I'll hit people up when like, cause I mean, I check on all my stuff every day. So yeah. if I notice one day, Oh damn. Like did all this, all, like Sp- Spotify streams are going crazy yesterday or something. Or like, I don't know, some milestone gets hit. Like I'll, I'll hit up people and be like, Hey dude, like this, this just happened. This was really cool. And I'm like, oh, damn. Like, thanks. This is great. So, like, stuff like that, maybe. Or if something, every once in a while, like, I just actually had a major horrible meltdown <laughs> of a day a couple weeks ago where nice. every single thing that I was doing got messed up one night. And nice. it was not my fault, for the record. It was it was a site that I used. Nice. I still use. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should switch, but I currently still use. Okay. They messed up, and it ruined my whole Friday. Nice. I had to spend... What was My, the dilemma? It was just a bunch of shit broke. Okay. For, for, to keep it to keep it as as uh with little technicality, you know okay. what I mean? Like sure. as easy as simple as possible. If you can everything get technical, I'm curious, but if you everything can't get fucking technical, broke because I use links for like Spotify, Apple Music, stuff like that. Okay. So when you people click on the ads and they are like, cool, I want to check out this band, it goes to a page, and then oh, I use Apple Music, boom. I Got use it. Spotify, boom, mm-hmm. easy. Mm-hmm. So when that link site decides to completely break and it's broke it's you know sites will go down that's sure. happened before it's like oh damn this was down for a couple hours that sucks but it's not the end of the world it's whatever there's nothing nothing anyone can do about that this was like a major like oh shit this whole site broke and in the the resolution like there was a resolution to it but i still that required me to do a lot of shit and I had to go in and manually change things mm-hmm. for every, and I had the busiest month of my entire life last month. So I had like 30 things going, I think 35 different things going at the same time. So, and I had to, I had to drive to Massachusetts that day too. I was like, it was a whole thing. Mm-hmm. I wasn't just like at home. So I was, I stayed up. I noticed it at like midnight one night. That's I stayed the up. Worst. Yeah. Cause I was, it was like Thursday <laughs> night. I was doing yep. new releases that yeah, I had already yeah. done. I had already set everything up Yep. and I go to, do it and i'm like why is none of this working and so i had to fix those before i you know did them and then i was like please don't be wrong for everything else that i have going currently mm-hmm. and it was and mm-hmm. on every single one and so yeah i had to so i stayed up till four in the morning and i fixed as many as i could till i was literally falling asleep and then yep. i slept for four hours and then i had to drive up to massachusetts for like other stuff that day and I get to Massachusetts and I'm sat down for an, like just hours, just like fixing, fixing, fixing. Like, yep. And then after I do all that, then I have to send people like the updated things for it so mm-hmm. that they, you know, don't keep sharing like dead links mm-hmm. to, to their fans because people are just going to be like, what is this? There's, there's nothing on this. Unprofessional, yeah. So then it's like, I like, I don't know how long that took me. It's just messaging people, messaging people, copying links, like, yo, 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 yep. like, help. Like, I like, <laughs> Like I'm I'm, doing everything I can. Thankfully I did this. So you didn't have to worry about it, but here, here you go. Like, so like stuff like that will happen and it's bad, but for the most part, it's pretty chill. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have one or two like catastrophic days per year. And for the most part, it's usually pretty cool. Yep. But then yeah, something will happen. Yeah. Every, every four or five months where I'm just like, everything's, everything's ending and I'm going to be homeless and I'm going to lose my whole job because this thing broke and then (laughs) I panic for like two days straight and then it gets resolved and I'm like, all right, cool. We're good. (laughs) You mentioned that you're doing like uh, four to five bands a day. So does that mean like, yeah, 25, not a a day, like a, like a week usually, but then I, but then it gets weird because then I have bands that just come to me all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. I might have. 15 new bands this month but then i also have 15 bands who either came to me in a previous month and are just still going or just stuff i run all the time like there's and then there's other stuff i do on the side too so it's a lot to it's usually around 30 like like 30 open at any given time lately yeah 
Damn. Like, right, like I think it was 35 or 36 when I had to do that shit a couple weeks ago. How do you like, uh, my challenge is always like scheduling my time. So as I am also in a very busy period of my life, like I'm having trouble, I'm bad at estimating like how long things will take and then how, so like if I know I can get a video done in 10 hours, let's say, like I have trouble mm -hmm. knowing how many of those hours can I get done today? Because sometimes you do three hours and it's like, that's it. That's all I got. And yeah. Then, and sometimes you go for seven and it's like, wow, I didn't think I could do all that. Yeah. But I can't plan for either one of those. Like, it's a tough thing to mm -hmm. estimate. And then if you're talking about, yeah, you have 30 projects. I certainly don't have 30 open. Thank goodness. That's a crazy well, number. Well, you're making like, videos, too. I'm not, sure, you know, the but, things I'm doing, realistically, it's like, cool. Each one is going to take a few hours. Sure. And then I have to just manage it through the month and make sure that it's going good. And I change my things that I, and I do what I do. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, that's five minutes a day sometimes. Yep. Which it can make a big difference. Like if you left that out, it would it would be a disaster. Yeah. Um. So it's just managing it day to day and like changing little things here and there. So yeah, I'll wake up. I don't. Some things you don't, you don't have to check on every single day. Sure. Some are every few days. Some are once a week. Some are every day. It just depends on what exactly I'm doing at the time. Like merch shit, I check on every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, if it's a new thing that I just started, I check on it every day. If it's something that I've had going for you know four months do am i still doing things and checking on it yeah because like that's what people are paying me for but like if i go a day where where you know i had a, it's a release day and i have five new things it's like cool this takes priority right now because i'm doing these new things and i know that this isn't going to get messed up or anything so i can just check on it tomorrow i'll check on mm -hmm. it tomorrow actually that's a lie though the first thing i do every day is like i have this app like this app for everything the notes app still no well yes yes <laughs> well we can talk about that too but the notes app has evolved a lot oh, it's no. still it's still notes app. oh though. no oh man oh man anyway you have another um, thing you have another app i have just an app to keep track of like everything okay and if you scroll like through all my shit to the very bottom it it tells me uh just basically whose shit is messed up or like who's like bill got declined like sometimes like you know you're paying for ads and shit like sometimes something with your bank account will happen or that's like mm -hmm. the main thing that usually will go wrong is something happens or card, yeah. yeah just some something weird with a card or bank account flags it as fraud or, or some bullshit mm -hmm. so every morning like that's the first thing i do when i wake up so that's checking on everyone technically thankfully the app makes it so i don't have to go in individually and make sure that everything's going. It's like It'll a just, marketing app. Is a banking app? Like it's just is... a Facebook. It's like a it's like a business manager okay. app. So yeah, it's just yeah. all my different accounts. It's just the way they have it set up. It's kind of cool. Yeah. They just have it set up so if anything's fucked up, it just goes to the bottom. So I just scroll to the bottom and I look at if there's any that are messed up. And if there are, then I hit those people up. And if there's not, then my day starts great. <laughs> okay. Usually, usually it's like once or twice a week I'll go and I'll be like, fuck, something's something's weird. Usually everything's good though. So what, uh, how do you know, like when your schedule's full, I guess was my, as I started my rant, that was my ending point of like, it's kinda yeah, not. to me, I don't know when things are and I end up overbooked because I go, oh, I didn't, it's going to take this long. And then that snowballs. The next thing I know, I'm like, yeah, way behind schedule. Yeah. So how are you figuring out when's so full? So the what's more I do it, the more I figured out how to do more, how to book more. Yep. Cause like the way I used to do it, I'm just, was kind of an idiot and just didn't know. Yeah. Like. I didn't know that there was necessarily a way I could set things up ahead of time. I'm like yeah. kind of my own schedule. So bands would be putting out songs on a Friday. And let's say I had three bands or four bands. Mm -hmm. And each one was going to take me an hour to set up. Then at midnight when songs drop, I would just stay up till four in the morning and set up all of them. And I would do, you know, do the things I have to do ahead of time. But then I would kind of just be sitting around all day like, cool, I don't have to do anything till midnight now. When... In hindsight, after a year of doing that, I finally realized, like, I don't have to do this way. There's a smarter way to do this. Mm -hmm. So then it became, oh, I could just do a couple a day or, or mm -hmm. whenever I just have free time. And so then that made it so that, all right, cool. My max was four a week. Now, like, there's been days where I've had to do, like, seven, which I don't like. But, like, seven bands in a week is so much. Like, it's, it's kind of yeah. ridiculous. I think I've even done eight, maybe. Not in the same night, but, like, the same week. Mm -hmm. Like, eight or nine. But in one night, like six is like what I try to keep it at. It's kind of yeah. rare that that I'll have a week where it's like ten bands are trying to hit me up or something. Um, sometimes it happens. It just it just kind of depends. I haven't really had to turn that many people down. It just it it depends. What you're describing is similar to how like photography was to me, where it's like with video, what I like is that it's this like big project that we take on. So like I have this one relationship with a person for a while. 
as you're talking about like releases and stuff, it sounds like you have like 10 mini projects happening or 20 mm -hmm. mini projects and mini maybe isn't the, like the best word, but like, it's not a, a huge thing. It's like, yeah, it's, it's yeah, consolidated it's, it's somehow. Uh, and so like the length it, of it is like, so I assume it doesn't take you a month to edit a music video. You know what I mean? Usually not. No, but this in, in, so the opposite of that is like, this takes me less time. It might take you a week or two to edit a music video. Let's yeah. say just for example, it doesn't take me a week or two to set up things for these bands. It takes a few hours. Do you like that though? Well, I guess it was, it's great. Yeah. Do you like but, any small projects? Yeah. But though, it's also not small because like I've had things that I'm still running that have been running for like a year. Yeah. So it's still, you're still working on it. It's just the work has changed. It's just like, you're not just because I can, you know, I don't have to physically sit there on my computer and do a bunch of stuff. I could be, I could be on a beach. There's been times where I've literally been at a beach and I'll just be like kind of sitting there and I'm like, oh, let me just like work real quick for 10 minutes and Get just make sure shit's in. good. Yeah. I didn't do it earlier. I'll do it now. Yep. Like, so thankfully technology is sick. Yep. So I could be, you know, I went on vacation last year. I worked on, I technically did work on vacation. It sucks. Like. Yep. I work every day. There's no there's no full day off unless I was somewhere with no Wi-Fi, which doesn't really happen. Um, but it's not, you know, I'm not sitting at a desk or 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 doing whatever. Like half the times I work, I'm just like in my bed too. It's like it's <laughs> fine. Like I don't have to go in, I don't have like an office job. I don't like yeah. you know what I mean? So it's easier than spending a bunch of hours on one thing and yeah. then being like, cool, now I have to do this next thing that I'm spending. Yep. 20 hours on it's like a few hours here a few hours here a few hours here and then kind of let it sit yep you know then it becomes like 10 minutes a week yep. on certain things it just it just you know it works itself out uh what's the notes app thing oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> i need to know so the to catch people up who might have missed the previous two episodes here uh what i am currently asking about is i believe you run your whole business out of your notes app and so what i believe up until this point you've just kept lists of like all the people all the release dates all the money stuff of who owes you how much how much they've paid so far when the release date's going to be how long the campaign's running like to my understanding this is all just in bullet points in your notes app Okay, so that's okay. That has changed. So okay. basically, was that now, at one time true? Kinda. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Well, so I always like a lot of people, like even Sean. Mm -hmm. Sean's very organized with like his studio and mm -hmm. his money and things. I know he has like a an Excel thing that he made and like mm -hmm. he puts income in and it like that's does, what I do. Yeah. It does math for him. It does great. That's mine. Know, yep, I have the same thing. No, bro, I got yep. the fucking notes app going. <laughs> I just like keep all my money. I got one for my money. So whenever a band pays me and I'm just trying to figure out how much money I made that yeah. month, I'll put it in there. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll do the math myself. Okay. I, I can work. I'm smart. I don't need a computer. Okay. So I'll do that. It's so sick to use your phone and say you don't need a computer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just for the record. I'm still using the calculator too sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. It depends. Most times it's easy. I don't, I, you know, I'm not charging cents out here. I'm not charging 52 84 and, that and, fucks and, me. and 36 cents or whatever. Normally like, we charge round numbers, but when I have rentals or like shit like that, or uh, yeah, that reimbursing does, that does for like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just bought a bunch of sand for some shit. And like, that was an odd number. And like, yeah, all those purchases are the annoying ones to do math with. So but anywho, so basically that's one that is still there. That has not changed. Okay. <laughs> that is fully the same. Okay. Now what I used to do was just like, Wait, wait, is this just like default notes app? Like I know notes app now has like tables you could put, there's bold, there's italics. Like, are you just, that's just fuck, plain that's fucking news to me, brother. Okay. That's news to me. Sick. Don't even know what you're talking. That's best. That's woo. That could change the game, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> you could. Yeah, it's a bold uh, little headline. So yeah, I got that. the I got the money one. Okay. And then I have one for like each each year. So I'll, every yep. year I'll I don't have a big one. Yeah. You know, every year I'll abandon it and I'll yep. save it, obviously. But yeah. like I'll abandon it and then start a See, new one. This is what I do in Excel, and then it all flows back to like a main cover sheet. So then you can also sure. look at it and be like, oh, in 2016, I lost $1,000 on the year. And then in 2017, I made $7,000 that year. Wow. Cool. And you look back and go, wow, I grew a business. Um, so, yeah, Excel. That I, have to do, but that I have to do, but I can still do that. It's yeah. just a little more work. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then I used to, like, I think I used to write down dates that things would end for yeah. sure. But then I was like, oh, wait, my phone just has a fucking calendar. Like, that's easy. So I'll use the calendar for that. So when okay. things end, it's just in the calendar okay. or whatnot. Because I don't pause it, like, in – like, if I'm running, like, an Instagram thing for someone, mm -hmm. I don't put an end date on it because a lot of people end up coming to me for, like, long periods of time. Renewing, so if, yeah. that's more work on me at the end of the day if I have to then go in and, like, extend it and all the shit. When sure. I could just set a reminder to go pause it and boom. 
And then if they end up coming back to me, I'll fucking unpause it. Like, Mm -hmm. sick. Um, So, so yeah, money one. Next one is once, once I started getting real busy, I had to like just, or I I just had to keep track of what I was booking every week. Cause, cause there was never a time, like, you know, a year or two ago where I was like, damn, like, you know, it was just two, three people a week, maybe. Now it's double that sometimes, yep. sometimes triple that. Yeah. So sometimes, and you know, I also have a lot of other shit going on too, which we, we can talk about. But yeah. like, I like so much stuff to to keep organized. Yep. So I need to know who's coming up. So I'll, you know, I have you know the next th- I have people booked out three months. So I have a note app for that. Basically, date, band, what they're doing, cool. Um. So that's a separate one. So we're on two. Uh, then I learned last year, I found out that like I did my taxes and shit yeah. and I was like, damn dude, I shouldn't have paid taxes last year Yeah, because I just didn't, I don't like <laughs> shouldn't have, have paid taxes last year is a crazy the I, the IRS, do, do not watch this video. The, no, if anyone blocked. from I'm... the IRS watches this video, I gave you a bunch of money last year that I shouldn't have. So, oh damn. so you owe me money actually, but cause I didn't know that if you didn't have a business, you could still do expenses. Yeah. Like no one told me. No one told me. I don't have people that like yeah. <laughs> know this for me. Like some people so might hear that and anything? be like, dude, this guy's an idiot. He didn't know that. Like what did you say? You didn't write off anything? No. Oh, I didn't God. fucking know, dude. I didn't know. <laughs> we we've, we've definitely talked about this. I didn't make this. like that much money, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but like yeah. I didn't know. Didn't that. we talk about this? Because uh, my dilemma now is I I've thought you have off. a business. I do. But I don't. I'm a sole proprietor. I don't think I technically do. I file taxes oh, okay. myself. Um, okay, then that's probably what I do. I yeah, I think I don't know. I, so I, I, I just pay someone to do. I can't do, like, yeah. sh- dude. Like other people I know will will just do it themselves yeah. and save money, all this shit. I don't trust myself to do that, so I will pay someone to do it for me. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that I was smart with like. I don't trust myself to do it perfectly. I trust myself to accomplish it, and when it gets more serious, I will. Yeah, hire like, someone. Dude, like, I didn't know to- you could write off miles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like just off mileage, I probably <laughs> didn't have to pay taxes last year. And I paid like a bunch of fucking money. I won't I'm say sure how you much, needed but, to like, pay taxes. Was, <laughs> like, okay, if I did need to pay taxes, it wasn't as much as I paid. Yeah, I, def- yeah, yeah, I probably yeah. paid double what I should like. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely who knows? double is probably a good number. So now yeah. I've, yes. because of that, I have added the expense mm-hmm. notes app, which nice. whenever I do anything, Meals, like I'll add up miles, I'll yeah. add up miles for the year at the end of the year or whatever. Mm-hmm. I kind of, I kind of just know what I do. And like, yeah, per week, how much I usually because I go up to like I'd have to drive to Massachusetts for like the management stuff a couple times a week. So it's like, cool, I keep track of all that. If I go to a show, you know, I have those dates that I went. I'll know like, you oh, know this month venue, I went to yeah. these two shows. This month I went to three shows yeah. like and I know, you know, I, it, it's easy to keep track of. Sure. And then if I just, you know, if I go to fucking dinner with a band or if I I don't know, do anything else or I have to buy. So I have to buy. I had to buy a bunch of shit last year for. Mm-hmm. Stuff even like band stuff. I claim the band, yeah, like taxes now yeah. technically because we don't we just we don't really have the business for that either. So whenever I get like DistroKid checks or mm. uh, TuneCore checks or just random stuff, I'll put those in. But it's like I didn't know that you know I spent money advertising the band, which also in turn advertises me because like mm-hmm. that's how people found me originally. So it's like cool people find my band and then they find me and then they come to me that. Uh, yeah i'm advertising my business yeah didn't know i could write that off <laughs> yep <laughs> didn't think that i could write off any band expense because i just thought like oh the band's not an llc or anything like i probably can't write that off but i'm also claiming like streaming royalties mm-hmm. it's not a lot yep but i'm still claiming it so technically i could still write off that stuff too so yep. a lot of things that i just didn't know so now i have that the flip side here and i will say this uh half to you and half to anyone listening because it's an issue that i've run into and it was uh, someone gave me this advice, and I'm very glad they did because I felt like they gave it to me before it was a problem. Uh, so I was able to start taking steps to fix it. The one issue with writing stuff off, right? So th- let's say you make uh, an annual salary of, let's say, $25,000 a year. Cool. Let's say someone's making that much money. If you write off, if you bought a new computer, you bought your car, your mileage, all yeah. that, whatever, all the good stuff, you write off $10,000 of expenses. What happens then is what your income is then reported to like the government as is the $15,000. Yeah. So you're subtracting 10K from what you made, essentially, yeah. by writing stuff off, which is great because then you pay less taxes and you're paying taxes on the 15K. Is it 100% of it, too? Um, Maybe it's not. I don't really know. But 
Yeah, I don't know totally know exactly what the one to one is, but whatever. Let's say for the sake of this my is simple very example, educational. you're paying tax on the 15k. <laughs> the problem that uh, you run into then is for me when I want to go like get a loan. If I were to like, oh, go yeah, try and buy a house, yeah. buy a car, they look at it and say, "Hey, you wrote off way too much money. You're poor." And I go, "No, no, 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 no. That was just because I didn't want to pay taxes on it. I actually have this much money." So the one thing about writing stuff off is got to be real careful of like. Yeah, it does lower your income, which has other ramifications down the line. So the advice yeah. I got is like, just never take a loan. Yeah. Well, at some point, <laughs> I would love to. Dude, at some I, point, I know. I would some point, I would love to own a house or yeah, own a car. Or Dude, just those get things. a house tomorrow. I, it's easy. I don't. Everything's have so great there. right now. Yes, it is. And it nothing's is. expensive. No, you're right. I should. I should. I just, bought two houses today. I should just get 250 bucks together and just go buy a house. Yeah. Just make it happen, dude. Um, yeah, words of wisdom, financial planning, tax season experts right here with Peter and Jay. That should yes, be the sir. podcast. Yes, sir. Uh, that's, that's the podcast of the dark that we were talking about beforehand. Um, how dude, many stri- real, real quick before, please. before yes. we move on, dude, yes. if I, if the, I like, let's say something in my taxes get fucked up sure. and, the, and the IRS like come after me yeah. or whatever. And they're like, cool. We need like all of your business history. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I, <laughs> I would just be like. Cool, I have this like notes app. <laughs> and I feel like they would just be like <laughs> like, okay, this is how this is this is how it's gonna be. This person's just actually stupid. Okay. I don't I don't know if there's much we could do about this because <laughs> low key about your notes app is probably pretty thorough and like effective, even though it's unorthodox. That's just how I work for thi- like yeah. I don't know. I'll do just my whole life, I've done yep. weird things just that okay. work for myself, but other people see it and they're just like, that's fucking chaos. This like, is how, how I do things work? as well. Uh, it's just that you find the way that now, works. you're like the most organized person I know. Okay, but the thank you. I appreciate that because I do not agree with it, but I appreciate your, I appreciate that I've been able to trick you into thinking that <laughs> through working with me on stuff. Um, the example I have is I'm working with uh, a designer on a project. So I'm working with the whatever. I'm working with a designer on a project that I will talk more about in the future, um, but I'm working with a designer on a project. And I was sending them some assets I made mm-hmm. and they do everything in Photoshop. And I was like, no, actually I made the background in Blender, which is my 3D software. And then I made the text in After Effects because that works better for me. And then yeah. I made like this other piece in Premiere Pro, which isn't how you would make that, but that's how I did it. And it's like, I just used the tools that were work for me yeah. and I like butcher them and then make the thing yeah. I want to get the thing done. And it's that, it's like this, what you're saying is like when you only have a hammer, everything looks like a nail kind of thing of like, you just take your hammer and you just get real good with this hammer, figuring out how everything yeah. works with the one tool. And you know, it's is the hammer in this example of like, Dude. if it works and you can keep making it better and improving it, then like, yeah, who needs a screwdriver? I like, <laughs> so like sometimes bands will come to me and they'll have a music video and usually it's pretty easy. I'll just like chop up clips of the music mm-hmm. video. Sometimes every once in a while, it'll just be a weird situation where it's like, we don't quite have that, but we have, some things, but sure. it's like, we don't have this video for it. Can you help us? And sometimes I'll be like, no, like, I don't do It's like, Sometimes it's too much. Yeah. But if it is in the realm where I can be like, all right, I could probably make something that looks cool. Yep. Like, I don't have Photoshop. I don't have, like, Adobe fucking anything. Like, yep. I don't pay for any of that because I don't really need it. Yeah. But I have, like, six different, like, free apps mm-hmm. <laughs> that I've just learned how to use. And, like, straight up, like, a couple weeks ago, I finally found a good one that has, like, no, decent fonts that don't look like shit. <laughs> yep. So I found like one for that. And then there's yep. one where I can like, you know, if I get sent a picture and like, do you even like promos sometimes? Like we'll get like promos back. And mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, I had like a pimple that day. And like, yep. you know, shit, I don't want that. So I'll yep. just go and okay, it'll take, take, I have this app, I'll take out the yep. pimple. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Yep. Uh, I'll have like uh video, uh, like cap cut and shit, like for yep. TikTok videos. Or like I have, I don't know. There's a few different ones for different things. Mm-hmm. So it just depends. Sometimes it's like I'll like bounce something out of one app and then go to another app and then bounce it out of that and then go in Photoshop and then fix one thing and then like I don't know. It's kind of just crazy. I'm stepping out on a limb here, so this may this may flop, but I think it'll be funny. Okay. Uh, when I was a kid, I the joke about me was that I used way too much Scotch tape. Okay. I, I, everything. Tape fixes ev- everything. Tape fixed everything. Tape fixes and there everything. wasn't a, a problem in the world that I wouldn't try to take a scotch tape to. And like, wouldn't try and take scotch tape to. Uh, and it was like a joke in my house. Like, we just never had any tape because I was always wasting it on just the dumbest thing that a kid could come up with. And as I'm saying it now, I'm realizing like that's the same part of my brain that is currently doing what you're describing. Mm-hmm. Of, like, you just learn one thing. And once yeah. this one thing works, you just flip it upside down in every possible way to make it work. Is there like a, a version of you as a kid that you can like a, a childhood memory that you can remember doing this? Like, did you have a, a toy, a solution? Is there some like some predecessor to this that you can remember? Um, 
not so i used to like hold, i used to not hold my pencil the right way okay and like I, I was getting like fucking yelled at for it you just had your own creative way that i would worked. i just held it like this like a fucking crazy person but i was i was like six i was like okay. literally so and then i learned how to hold it the right way figured it out but when you were 16. honestly in hindsight I was right because I had all these teachers and all these all these people like dude they treated me like garbage honestly like they thought yeah. something was wrong with me a couple <laughs> people like it was it was weird I remember like getting like like no like <laughs> like super like hated on for it okay and I remember one day someone like my dude like my parents had to call me one day and straight up they were like yeah like if he keeps holding it like this like when he, like, you know, if he does this his whole life, if he doesn't learn how to just hold it the right way, like, he's going to get, like, ar like, arthritis and, like, carpal <laughs> tunnel or, like, whatever. And, like, in hindsight, yeah, I get why they said that. Maybe that is true. It probably is. <laughs> yeah, I haven't dude, done the research. There's but, no way. But, 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 dude, I don't fucking write anything. <laughs> yeah. I haven't, dude, <laughs> since being in, like, literal high school, like, I don't write anything now. It's all computer. So, realistically, I could have done that. Am I glad I don't? Yeah, because I would look like a crazy person if I did that now. But I wish in hindsight, in hindsight, I really didn't need to because computers just replaced everything. So literally the only time I write is if I have to mail something in yeah. like an envelope yep. or write a check or sign something. I write all the time. I'm always That's taking it. notes and I always take notes like on paper because just i don't know that's good think. that's a good habit yeah, that's how you remember things better if you write i do it everything yeah i don't trust any i don't trust my memory for everything so like every phone call i'm on i'm like writing down the whole call and like taking notes and all this shit so that like it exists my and, chaos thing for that is if i'm on a call with someone oh no and like it's really important yeah or it's like i like i do like posts for some bands too sometimes sure. and like and like um like i did like uh uh new england metal fest socials last year and so sometimes, like, I'll get a call and be like, hey, we need this posted. Can it say this? And instead of writing it down, I'll just open, like, I'll be on the call, and I'll just open a text, and I'll just pick the whatever the first name is, like, whoever the last person I texted was, and I'll just write out a text, and then I'll copy-paste that instead of just, like, <laughs> like, I'll just, like, make a shitty, like, I won't even do it in Notes app. Like, that's what I use, and that's my thing. That's my shit. I love Notes app, but for that, it's like, Oh shit! Let me just like open up a text real quick and like imagine if it's like something important. I just hit send. It's never That's happened, <laughs> but like I text myself for that. I don't know if that would. I help text you myself here. sometimes. That's that's I I default to myself when I have to like write something in a text message mm -hmm. and I can't go to a bad person. That's an insane way to like remember something from a text. I don't remember. Um, is it um that that I just like have to straight up copy paste it and then is if it, it gets deleted, to, I'm fucked. Is it hard to write? socials for someone else i like yeah i so hate it bad. i don't like doing yeah. it at all it's my I don't, same. least favorite thing in the whole yeah. well i shouldn't say that some it just depends on the situation some some of it's cool mm -hmm. but i don't like whenever like i do a lot of like show announcements for bands that's so easy mm -hmm. it's just like hey guys we're playing fucking idaho today mm -hmm. or, to, or in a month or whatever sure. yeah, yeah, yeah easy or like, like geo lately ads. lately a lot of like the bands on our management are going to like europe so a lot of it is like Cool. Hey, we're going to France, and then I'll just be like, "Cool," and I'll say the show. Hey guys, do you have to play. Google Translate that into French? No, no, fuck oh. that. No. Most <laughs> sorry. Most people can read English. Most people are in this world are very smart and they're bilingual. <laughs> unlike us, our 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 American minds are very dumb, very affirmative, stupid. Affirmative. So other yeah, you know, American bands just be posting in American, but they'll be like, "Hey, we're going to France. Hey, we're going to Spain or whatever." So yeah. it's like, all right, this is easy. I just. We're playing with blah 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 in Spain. And I'll fucking Google uh, Spain flag emoji, and then boom, there's a Spain flag, and it looks good and it's simple. Sure. Like, shit like that's cool. But whenever anyone's like, "Hey, we want to like post this big thing about like whatever," like a lot of times they'll send me it in that case. Like, "Hey, we wanted to say this," just like boom, copy paste it, and that's easy. Every once in a while, it'll be something where I have to, I do have to like figure out mm -hmm. a lengthier thing and like how to say it. And that's when I don't like it. I don't like. It. Yep. I feel like I'm like pretending to be. Yeah. Dude, and dude, all these all big bands do that shit. Like, yep. dude, like you think fucking no one. Yeah. Like no, like I'm trying to think of like a good example. Like, dude, there's no way like Slipknot runs their fucking Instagram. Like, that's I think not... we can go with Beartooth as a good example here. Beartooth, I, yeah. I br use Beartooth because Jar like openly runs all their stuff, oh, cool. and like Jar is like known as being like a like a content guy. I think what uh, 
but I think Jar is obviously. I'm assuming you know who mm-hmm. Jar is. Yeah, uh, he's a photographer, video guy for people who don't know, and he's just seems to have done a great job of like branding himself as someone who's going to make your content to the next level and do this job that we are both complaining about of like handling the social media and posting everything and making sure that it's both in the voice of the band and also engaging yeah. it up to times and all this stuff. Um, yeah, he's a, a guy who seems to have like succeeded really well and like almost made a career out of it of like. Yeah, it's not just gone from a content guy, but not just making the content, but also like helping deliver that to your audience yeah. and take it that final step. Yeah, I don't like doing that. Yeah, nope, not, <laughs> not my thing at I all. I will do it. I do it. Like I like I said, I do it. I do it when I have to, and like I'm happy to help out whenever people like do need it. Mm-hmm. But it's mostly like my other my other shit that Sick. I prefer doing. But hell it's yes, all, it's all cool. I'm a team player, baby. You know. Yeah, we're good. That's probably the central so I'm part. I'm trying of... to keep everybody happy. Yeah, that is the hardest part of my job is that I. Um, uh, I'm no longer able to keep everyone happy because I don't have enough time anymore. And it's been a real recent challenge for me of like, I think I used to uh, take a lot of pride in being able to say yes to everything and get everything done. And regardless of how big or small or when the project was, it was mm-hmm. like, yeah, we'll get it done. And now it's been the first time that I have to be like, I can help you in like six months if yeah. you got time. <laughs> and it's very strange. Have you run into that same problem? And like, how are you? For me, it's been a like troubling. Like, I really don't like it. Like, I yeah. want to be able to help everyone, but it's like, I, I can't do 10 videos this week. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm so, I just, <laughs> there's only seven days. Yeah. And maybe one, two videos. Sometimes, but. I mean, I haven't really had to straight up be like, no. Yeah. Like, and, or, or have it go, yo, I, it's going to be three months yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, usually, and one, it's not, it's never really my fault because a lot of the times that that happens, it's, a really like a band let's and it's not always the band's fault either i'm not trying to say that but sometimes a band will find me Mm -hmm. and and it's just in time like they're putting out a song in two days and they just found me they're like hey dude like we just got recommended you by another one of my so it's like people are recommending me i'm like that's great that's awesome yep but then i'm like shit i have six bands today and this one band last minute is hitting me up like am i gonna do it am i gonna usually i do it or like worse comes to worse you know, if the song is on Friday, I'm like, hey, well, we just got to do it Monday. We mm-hmm. just miss a couple days. Yeah. Unless that week is also screwed. Like, so thankfully, it hasn't been. I've never really had to make anybody like the most I've ever had to do is if it's um, if it's a new song, I, I still will just kind of grind and make it happen. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's someone that is just like, hey, we just want to start coming to you like nothing's new. You know, we just want to start. And if I'm having like a crazy couple of weeks, I'll just be like, yo, we just got to start, you know. In a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's really the extent of it. I've never, I haven't had to be like, yo, I haven't had to straight up tell many people no or, hey, yes, but it's going to be like months, you know? Yeah. It'll usually at most be a couple weeks. It just depends. And it, that's also for new people too. Like setting up shit with a new band that comes to me for the first time is going to take longer than a band who's come to me, even just once. Cause it's like we do all the hard, we get all the hard work out of the way yeah. kind of the first time. And then, all it really is is like, hey, we have a new song. Like, let's just get everything together with this. I'm still in all their stuff. Like, you everything have your identity set. You yeah, I already know, know yeah. what worked last time. Yeah. Like, everything's easier yep. second, third, fourth time around mm-hmm. um, than it is for the, like the first time. We're kind of just winging it, trying to see what works, what doesn't work. Sometimes it goes good. Sometimes it goes bad. I've had bands had they've had to come to me. You know, thankfully they stuck it out because like like I'm trying to think. There's this pop punk band that comes to me and i feel like the first couple we did didn't do that great but they i don't know if they were like bummed or not i never really asked to be honest but uh then like finally on like the third fourth like time coming to me like shit started working and i was like i'm glad you stuck through it i'm glad you didn't work like this dude sucks you know what i mean uh, i'm glad you mentioned that you don't know how they feel about it because i've always wished that i could like have like a like a, a form that I can send people, like a review, like an employee review kind of thing. That'd be sick. But it's like we don't work with enough people. Like if if you went and left a bad review on this like private form that I would send to you, it'd be like I know who it came from. Like I know yeah. who I just sent a project to yesterday. Like I know I mean, what this new thing. I'm thankful. I've never gone on the internet or yeah. or, or just seen people or, like that or in my space like mm-hmm. talking like shit about me ever. Yeah. So I have one. I just that's oh shit. We can <laughs> talk about that time. after. Yeah, um, we can talk about it on here. No, oh, I'm happy. cool. Yeah, no, it was a. Uh, um, it it stuck with me. You know, obviously it stuck with me. But it was a. Uh, maybe you might have told me this. I might have. Yeah, no, it was a band I worked with very early I was in gonna, my yeah. career. Uh, and so it was fi- first five music videos I've done. Let's say yeah. so, like very very early. 
And so obviously the video wasn't great and it was what we agreed to at the time. I did everything like at the time everyone seemed happy. Yeah. And this was maybe 2016 when I'm starting, 2017. And then like I think 2020, 2021, something like that. Yep. I make a post saying, hey, I'm doing more shit. And someone comments like, hey, why doesn't our stuff look like all the stuff you're doing now? Oh, okay. And it was just like because I'm five well, years better. Like that's why. And it's like I what, get you that got lot, what you hired though. me for. You got the – what you pay? I think they paid me like two hundred bucks a video. Yeah. It's like you got a two hundred dollar music video. You got exactly what you paid for. I would argue you got a four hundred dollar music video, but like you paid two hundred bucks. Like it's not the same thing as what's happening now. But it was this weird blemish of like I don't want a bad review out there, but like I also don't want to not acknowledge it because it is a valid complaint of like because the the complaint was specifically like you only you do better with your friends than you do with other people. And I was yes. like, no, I do better with people that I'm working with now than I yeah. people I worked with five years ago. You but, got better. That's yeah. just how it works. Uh, but that one comment has always stuck with me. Just this, like, yeah, it, it'll come again. It'll come again, Thank and I want to make sure I'm ready for that Thankfully, one. I've kind of lucked out with that. <laughs> yeah. There's not that many, but there has been times. Well, there's two things. The first yeah. thing is some bands that came to me really early on. Yep. It's like, cool. Did some stuff for them. And then when they come back, like, years later, they're like, holy shit, you got better. Like, oh, damn, like, this is crazy. So mm -hmm. so that's happened. Yep. The second one is I do, the only thing I do get, it's not like shit talking, though. It's not people being like, this dude sucks. We, we paid him money and, and our song didn't blow up or whatever. Yeah. But there's a, a, a good handful of bands that come to me, like, all the time or, like, really frequently. Mm -hmm. Probably maybe, like, 15, 20, like, that are super, like, yo, like, run stuff with me multiple times a year, if not all the time. That's sick. I didn't like, know there was that many, like, on retainer. That's a sick, like... On retainer, on straight up month to month, there's not that many. There's okay. probably... But even, like, to have 50, whatever. Keep there's going. There's probably, I'm, a, I'm, I'm saying there's probably a good 20 or something that... Just take the compliment. You don't have to okay, here. okay, okay, okay. You're doing good. Regardless. Life's good. Regardless. Yes. Like, I'll post those bands probably more than I post a random band because it's continuing things. So those numbers will be bigger because I have worked on them for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. So what I will get is a band that, you know, let's say a band just comes to me for one month and then they stop and then six months go by and they're like, damn, you know, my, my that, that month was cool, but my song yeah. kind of kind of phased out. <laughs> Why aren't we Dreamwake? So that, well, oh, <laughs> that's one example. There's there's more than that. If anyone from that band's watching, yeah. hi. Uh, <laughs> but like there's them, there's a few, there's a yeah. few more. And I'll get messages and they'll just be like, yo, so like, how, how, like, what did you do differently for them than you did with us? And I'm just kind of have to be like, not really much. It's just, you can't, you know, M music, you can only, do, I can only do so much. Like, it, that doesn't mean the song's bad. Like, they invested 10 Thankfully, I don't really did. work on shit that's like bad. Yeah. Like, at the longer I've done this and like, the more I've learned how to do things, like, better and better people tend to come to me so yep. usually i don't really have to run into that anymore but you know some people will straight up hit me up and be like how much money did this band spend how much money did this band spend how much money did, you know mm -hmm. i'm just like i'm not telling you that dude yep. like, and it's not and, and honestly in the grand scheme of things it's not that much money yep so i'm like hey dude i'm usually just like they spent around what you spend they just came to me for longer and and things worked and we and we yep. worked on it and worked on it and worked on it and yeah all the bands like like i said like you know dozen or so bands that come to me and do that are usually really happy. And they're just like, damn, every time we come to you, shit, things keep going up. Great. We'll just keep doing it. And then sometimes I'll have a band that only comes to me once a year and then they disappear for a year and then they come back for maybe a couple times and they disappear again. So it just, yep. it just depends. And of course the quality of the product you're promoting also affects this and you can't quite look someone in the eye and be like, well, their song's just better than yours. Yeah, dude. So, you can't say that. You can't say that to people. I mean, Not sometimes yeah. dude, let's, but that has to be part of the, the equation. The annoying thing is sometimes it's like the video. Sometimes yeah. the song is sick. Yep. And the video is just like not the best. And yep. like that's important. Like, or sometimes yeah. the video is really sick and will actually do like the ads will look good and like things will be like, damn, this is going well. But then I'm looking at Spotify and it's just not. It's not retaining like, audiences. Like to something that's doing just as good for another band, it yeah. just might be doing half as good. And right. I'm like, well, why? Well, maybe this song, maybe the video is sick, but the song's not. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you need you need a good song, you need a good video, you need. Yep. Or yeah, you sold the chorus well, but there's a 45 second intro to the song that no one ever. Yeah, like for, so, you know, yeah. I'm not using the yeah. whole song when yeah. I'm trying to show people this stuff. I'm using yep. 30 seconds. Yep. So if you have a bang in 30 seconds, cool. You'll get a bunch of people through. Mm -hmm. If the whole song bangs, great. They're probably gonna They'll follow stay. you. They'll probably yeah. save it. They'll probably be like, "Damn, I found this. I found this band today. They rule." Yep. But if that's the only good thirty seconds of the song, and yep. I, you know, when I'm making clips and stuff, and I go through it, I'm like, "Cool, 
let's use this section, this section, this section. The song's mm-hmm. four minutes, but I use the best 45 seconds of it. Yep. When people go and listen to the song and it gets to that part, they'll be like, oh, shit, that part's cool, but everything yeah. else is kind of weird. Yep. Or like, I don't know, dude, you know my thing when the band has like a two-minute fucking intro to a song. It's oh, like, me oh, too. Yeah. You know, <laughs> me too. You know, you know how I feel about that. <laughs> yep. Um, hell yes. We were just about at our hour, and I'm determined to stay within about an hour because I don't want to make more work for myself. So the last thing I'd like to ask you, I'd like to try to end on a fun note, something more interesting, something more current. Uh, what shows have you been to recently? What's a show that you've been to recently you stood out? What's a band you saw recently that surprised you? What I know you're, yeah, I feel like you're at shows all the time. What Damn, have you seen recently that was... Noteworthy. That was interesting. That was yeah, a band you've seen for the hundredth time. I went I don't know. to that Silent Planet tour. Hell yes. Okay. It was Silent Planet, Thornhill, uh, Johnny Booth, Sick. Aviana. Okay. And that was like very sick. Show. That's the one. Where was it? Uh Palladium. Hell yes. Main or... yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for them. Very sick. Good very for, sick. Good very Silent sick Planet. tour. Um, what else? I went to that Bear Tooth tour too. That's for, sick as hell. For for like invent and stuff and plot yeah. and, and everything. I forgot about that show. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that show was very, was very, Boston, very, 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 very right? sick. Yeah. Bear Tooth was like the best live band. They're like they were bored. They for sound arenas. amazing. Yeah, they, they were sound destined amazing. for that stage. Every time I see them, I'm always like, "Damn, this band sounds crazy." Yeah, I remember back in the day. Back in the day, I could say this now because they fixed it. <laughs> okay. Back in the day, the old Webster, you know, the sound, mm-hmm. the PA in there wasn't the best. And I remember I would always see bands in there, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, this is like cool, but it yeah. could sound a little better." Yep. I know, like, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Your sound guy matters. You know, the room matters. Like yep. a bunch of shit. And then they, they got better sound, you know, a couple years ago. So I feel it's fine. I could talk, you know, I could say mm-hmm. something about that because because they got it together. It sounds great now. Yep. But I remember it being like 20, maybe 2015, 2016. And it was like the f- uh, one of the f- first or second time I ever saw Beartooth. I think the first time I saw them not at like a warp tour. Mm-hmm. And I saw them in that venue and like the show's going on and it's like pretty standard like show. I'm like, cool. It sounds okay. It's like whatever. And then I remember them coming on in the same venue, same PA, same everything. And it was like the, at the time, it was like the best sound I've ever heard in that venue. And I was like, holy shit, this mm-hmm. is crazy. Yeah. Like y'all got your, y'all got your shit together. They, God damn. Yep. They cracked the code. I don't know what. Cracked the code. I don't yeah. know what. The Every time I've seen is. them, it sounds great. Yeah. So yeah, that Silent Planet was sick. Uh, Thornhill's the best. Fuck, Thornhill's like my favorite new band. Gotta, not, not new, but sure. like. Yeah, band that's like kind of like having a cool like moment right now. I gotta check them out. I haven't. I don't think I have. Thornhill's great. I think I'm behind. I'm um, like I'm always behind here. on music. I'm always like I like the things I like. And I'm hesitant to check out new things. And then eventually, I yeah. go, uh, I'm just now being like, oh, Sleep Token's pretty cool. <laughs> oh yeah, you're, that's what yeah. I'm at. Yeah, dude, <laughs> that's how recent. That's I my. Am. Oh, that's. <laughs> I hate these people, but like I am one of those people with Sleep mm-hmm. Token because I saw Sleep Token on their first tour that they. Dude, I yeah that issues fucking, tour yeah, that Polyphia issues, tour. issues. I am and bummed I, I missed that. And I yeah. was at, it was at Toad's place, and I yep. me and like my friend went, and I had showed my friend them on the way. Yep. I was like, yo, this band's opening, and they're so weird, and it's sick. Mm-hmm. And they only had their first album out at the time. Yep. And seeing them, we're at the show. No one knows who the fuck they are. Yep. I'm having a great time because I like. That first album they put out was like one of my favorite albums of that year. Like mm-hmm. it was so good. And then literally the next time I got to see them was sold out Palladium. Yep. Like twenty five hundred people. Yeah. That, like, pe- there there were people outside that like couldn't get in, like because like there were like fake tickets and shit. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, dude, this band is just like massive. Like this yep. band, this is an arena band now that is under that is this that whole tour was like. Yeah, an underplay basically. Like that, yeah. man, dude. That I I was talking to someone the other day. I think that they could announce. I genuinely think that they could announce a stadium show and it would sell out. I think that they could, if they did like MetLife Stadium. I just saw Metallica at MetLife mm-hmm. Stadium last year, and like you got to think about it. Like, yes, it's MetLife Stadium is probably the size of like four arenas. Sorry, but like they're doing a sold out arena tour in like the UK. So I'm yeah. like, damn, if they if they just decided one day, like, yo, we're just gonna put we're just gonna come to America and play like this one stadium show. Yep. I feel like everyone would be like, no, that's a horrible idea. Like, oh my God, like, no, 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 no. But I feel like it would still sell, dude. Like everything yeah. sells out. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Yep. Yeah. I I only know about the show because I was talking about them one time and I was saying how like it's unbelievable. It was unbelievable to imagine them as a local band. Like to me, Sleep Token is one of those well, dude, bands they, that like can only headline. And someone was like, "Oh, they actually played Toad's Place not too long yeah, ago." B- and, big, yeah, big. Yo, know, listen, this is my big respect for them. Okay, I because you know how to- like if you if anyone's watching this and ha- for some reason hasn't been to Toad's Place or whatever, 
I feel like most mostly the people around in our area are gonna watch this, but if any randoms are, sure. Uh, Toad's place is just in the middle of fucking downtown New Haven, and it's on the Yale campus. Yep. And there's no parking lot. There's no back area for the bands to hide or anything. Yep. So like, tour bus is out front, vans out front in the fucking street. Mm-hmm. So Sleep Token plays, and they're all in mass, and they're doing their thing, and the identities are hidden and whatnot. Um, and I remember being outside like i don't remember who like no no offense to whoever was on that tour but i don't remember who played after them i just wasn't about it personally so i was outside hanging out with a bunch of people and talking and whatnot and so while that band was playing sleep token was loading out in downtown new haven and they still had the masks on and like they still were in like stage clothes and it wasn't like they got off stage just like took it off like they knew oh shit the venue today like we have to go out and like mm-hmm. be seen by people, we we have to still wear the mask. And I was like, that's hard. That's so sick. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm that guy with that band that I was just like, I saw them before. I'm I saw them it. before they yeah. were big. Yep. Same with like uh Ice Nine Kills. Yep. How many times I play with Ice Nine Kills yeah. in the fucking underground and yep. now they go and play like yeah. play the fucking Oakdale now and shit. Yep. It's like five thousand people. That's a wild it's like crazy. Yeah. yeah, it seems like it feels like, like like they were late bloomers. It feels like they were around oh, for so long and then yeah. somehow something finally clicked and I guess the horror stuff and lyricism but yeah. anywho good for them good for people selling tickets life is good we um, love it we did it we did our hour we mission accomplished i'm determined to get this edited today and get it out soon um i've been missing episodes it's been bad but i'm i'm gonna get You're i'm great. gonna stay do it i'm gonna keep doing this um cool where do people find you where are people uh telling you that they want to market your music so i guess first go stream the half-hearted ep go stream yes uh hey uh, healing from hating yourself long title um Go stream Healing from Hating Yourself. Go check out all the songs. Go watch all the music videos. Go do cool stuff. Uh, then tell Jay that he was awesome today and that you want to hire him for stuff. Jay, cool. where do people will hire you for stuff? Where do they contact you to say, do stuff for me, please? Uh, my Instagram is just my name on Sick. Instagram, so that's easy. Nice. My fuck, Dude, I don't know why. Like, I don't use Facebook. Okay. I only use it for this job. Yep. And it's just still where I get the most shit. Mm-hmm. I'm glad it exists because I don't know why. Yo, shout out Zuck. I don't know why, dude. Like, I use, I use, I post way more on Twitter, Instagram, everything than I. I only ever post stuff for this yep. and band stuff on Facebook, just when when things happen or when I want to share something. Mm-hmm. I haven't just gone and like, you know, oh, I ate fucking sushi today. Let me post mm-hmm. this on my Facebook. Like, no, dude. Like, I'm not <laughs> doing that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so it's crazy that Facebook is still the one, the one that it's like that's yeah. my my. You know, I don't say no to people necessarily, but sometimes my inbox on there is like crazy and just like mm-hmm. shit falls through like it's that it's that busy sometimes so there's good instagram is good nice i'll be in the description i'll be below um do i have anything to say i don't think so episode 60 We're done baby jason grandel what did i learn from you today i've been trying to tell people what i learned from them today um i've learned from you today that we should do things the way that works best for us that who cares what the normal way to do stuff is just do stuff that works for you <laughs> yeah. if it keeps working for you then fuck it let it keep working for you if it ain't broke don't fix yes, it. yes sir broke. yes Jaybird for president, 2020 every year, all the time. Tape everything. Tape everything. Shout out episode 16 of the books, mission accomplished. Big red button. Put.